Hi, everybody, and welcome to Ask an Action Coach. As always, I am Joseph Munich. I'm a business development manager at Action Coach of Wisconsin, and I am with Jackie Zach. Jackie is a certified business and executive coach with Action Coach of Wisconsin, and we're really excited to be back again this week. Um, we're going to just jump right in. We have a question that came through LinkedIn from Marco. And Marco is concerned about planning, and he asks, what should I be focused on right now? I don't even know where to start when it comes to making a plan. Oh, great question, Marco. Um, so really, the very first step is to plan to accept that change is in, that we're just, things are going to keep changing. That is the very first thing. So plan to accept change. And change is going to be happening and change is going to be continuous. So that's the very first thing. Second thing is plan to change. As you are creating your plans and as you are thinking through your plans, be nimble. Plan on changing. Maybe have a couple of ways that you could go with your plan because Every day, things change. We don't know what's going to happen in six weeks. We don't know what, we even half the time, we don't even know what's happening by the end of the week because the things are changing so fast. So when you're creating your plan, make sure you're planning to change, to be nimble, to adjust. So really what you want to plan for is you want to have a 90-day game plan to survive. Now this is second quarter, we're about halfway through or so. And if you haven't created a plan, now would be a great time to create one. Because that it helps with a couple of things. It helps with your mindset, because if you have a plan, it helps to keep you focused on that plan. If you don't have a plan, every time something changes, it, it throws you off, and it causes anxiety and ca that's what causes the overwhelm. So create a 90-day plan to survive. At some point, life is going to come back to normal, right? Things are going to open up. We don't know exactly how, but things are going to open up and we're going to get back to business. So you also need a 90-day game plan to thrive. Oops. With both of them, be nothing and be nimble. Can you go back and repeat that? You froze for just a moment there, Jackie, but after 90 day plan to thrive. After your 90 day plan to thrive, you want to make sure your plans are nimble and that they are changeable. Because I, I think that this, this, this time in our this season of our life is not going to go away we are it's going to be forever changing depending on the experience depending on the season depending on what happens once we reopen so have change part of your plan to thrive and survive yep. also you want to reopen your business with a party or a relaunch and whenever I've talked to people about this, they say, how can I, if we, we're only allowed to open with 10 people or less at a time, how can we do that? So one of the ways you can do that is, is do like we're doing now, having a Zoom conference with your clients. Plan a party where there's only 10 people or less. Make sure that you, you know, could you have stations? If you're, if you're a retail store, could you have stations? You get a drink at one station, we, we have new products at that station in, a, in one category. You go and have food at another station, you have products. And you reopen so that you're, you're less than 10 people at a time, but your, your marketing splash makes it seem bigger. So uh, also, you want to relaunch yourself and your business. Re the expert. Relaunch your business to the world. So it's not only about having a party, but it's telling the world, here's how we've changed. 
here's how we've adjusted, here's how we've grown, here are the new opportunities, and how have you changed? And what are some things that you can do? This makes so, me think, oh, go ahead. In, in theater, we always say start big and end big. And so it makes me think, you know, you could, uh, personally, I love going on Facebook Live. And you could have a, a Facebook Live opening where you demonstrate exactly how you can walk into your store and you can walk through the store and social distancing is then modeled by you and your behavior and how you do it. And then to start big, make sure they get a drink in their hand first thing when they walk in. And to end big, you could have a parting gift, uh, a present or a book or a coupon for coming back or ordering online. Excellent. That's a great idea. So to add to what we're talking about, start big, end big. And if you are remote, don't forget, you, you can still do that. How do you get the start big and end big if you can't be face to face? And as you're thinking about what, launching your business and yourself, people are after an experience. So whether you're an electrical um, contracting firm or you're a retail party store, how do you give your customers and your clients an experience? So both businesses, can you can have an experience, but what are you doing to give your business owner, your clients an experience? The last thing is work with a, your coach. Work with your coach on how to create a plan to survive, to thrive, to talk through how are we gonna reopen, to relaunch yourself in your business, and also, have the mindset that you are going to accept that change is going to be part of our lives and accepting the change is part of moving forward. So, you know, one of the things we do to plan, right, is every 90 days we get our business owners together to create a business plan or to create a 90 day plan and uh, called Growth Club. And that's one of the things that we do to help our business owners plan. So that there's an opportunity for someone. So what other things can we do, do you think, Joseph, to help our, our business owners plan and reopen with a bang? Oh, there's just so many ideas that I've seen people have. Um, sometimes it's about what you're pivoting to and exactly how you're going to slowly reopen and what types of products are most important to your customers and can you scale back your offerings to make sure you're not trying to be all things to all people and you're still making a profit. Excellent. Excellent. Well, those are a couple of tips. The today's topic, plan 90 days in, plan plan 90 days out. And if you want a, an opportunity to talk about some of these tips with a pro like Jackie, uh, we can set up a 20 minute call and you can have your ideas evaluated. If you think you need to really go a little bit deeper, we can set up a 90 minute call and do a business diagnostic. Just let us know where you are and how you're feeling in the comments section below and we will follow up and make sure that you're on the right track. And if and when it makes sense for you to have a business coach, we are here for you. So thanks, Jackie. Excellent. Have a great week, everybody. Thanks. Bye-bye.